J.J. Dewey here again. We've been talking about the uh, 95 Thesis, but unlike the 95 Thesis presenting, presented by Martin Luther in the 1500s, where Martin Luther presented a 95 Thesis to correct the religious errors of the day, this 95 Thesis is to correct the political errors. In other words, the Politicians that are supposed to represent us are not representing us. So what I've done here is to write a new 95 thesis that gives us 95 points that need to be corrected in today's society, except instead of correcting the uh, religious establishment, is to correct the political establishment. We just left off where we were talking about a, a no new section here uh, called Congress and Government, and I'll just review a couple of the points we left off on. Number 32, any bill passed by Congress must be limited to 100 pages or 30,000 words. 2,000 pages is way, way, way too long. Constitution can be written in just a dozen pages. 33, legislators must read a bill before they vote on it. Now, isn't that a novel idea? Actually know what they're voting on? Yet, many legislators have been asked in the past uh, about a bill they voted on, they don't even remember uh, what was in it. In other words, they, they comment, uh, they vote on bills that they don't, aren't even aware of the content of, which is just uh, insane. So this definitely goes against what the majority of the people think. And uh, let me remind you that each one of these 95 points and 95 theses represents what the majority of the people think, which is in opposition to what the government is actually doing. And the majority of the people definitely want the uh, uh, government or the legislators to know what is in uh, the bills that they're voting upon. Number 34, Congress must not only pass laws, but seek outdated and unjust, unworkable, and restrictive laws, seek, seek these out, and then repeal them. In other words, if there's really bad, the law, all kinds of really bad laws out there that have already been passed, we must not only, they must not only seek to pass good laws, but seek to repeal the bad laws that's already there. 35, Congress is not to be allowed to raise their own salaries. In the past, they've uh, had this power, it's kind of, uh, I think, it's handled by some uh, uh, law that they pass to ensure that they get a nice cushy uh, increase in salary from time to time. And uh, it just irks people when they have to do without when Congress is, keeps getting nice, uh, comfortable pay increases. Anything beyond uh, an adjustment for inflation should be decided by referendum from, by the people. And we also do, do not imp uh, approve of Congress taking their family and friends on vacation at our expense to exotic foreign locations. And if, if there's anything outside of just pure business being handled abroad, this should come out of their own pockets and not out of the taxpayers. It just irks the majority of the people when they see our Congress people uh, in Hawaii or somewhere are just enjoying themselves with their family, surfing and getting suntans there, while we have to uh, uh, work very hard and save to have uh, and spend our own money to have a similar type uh, of enjoyment. Forty. We want freedom of religion and philosophical thought, not freedom from religion and diverse forms of thinking. Now, a lot of our uh, representatives seem to have the strange idea that freedom of religion means freedom from religion. In other words, some people think, well, freedom of religion means that uh, 
these religious uh, people just have or uh, shouldn't be able to speak up and make their uh, presence noted. They shouldn't be able to participate in Congress. They shouldn't be able to say anything about what they believe. On the other hand, uh, atheists and uh, people of a philosophical bent that isn't particularly uh, religious, uh, it's fine, they can say anything. So freedom of religion doesn't mean freedom from religion. People of any religious or philosophical bent have a perfect right to participate in the political system, have a perfect right to uh, express their freedom of ideas and freedom of thought, and uh, just like anyone else. This should be uh, uh, something that uh, uh, is accepted. And the majority of the people accept this, that uh, we have the, the, there's a lot of people out there with strange ideas, but we have to be able to allow them to express them. And there's a tremendous number of people with different ideas than you and I have, but they should be allowed to express them uh, just as much as uh, anyone else. So we don't want, the majority of the people don't want freedom from religion. We don't want to be insulated from different types of thinking than our own thinking. We don't want to be insulated, but we want freedom to be able to express. 41. We want no censorship placed on the internet except that which a family may voluntarily uh, uh, censor in, within their own family with their own children. And this is, uh, this is fine, a family uh, has a right to raise their children the way they want, but we don't want the government stepping in and saying, well, you know, this type of internet stuff uh, needs to be uh, tempered, you know, because this offends a certain number of people. Now, there's certain things like child porn and things like this, of course, uh, things that are definitely harmful and considered harmful by the vast majority uh, that's something else. But we don't want the government stepping in and defining what is uh, hate speech or incorrect speech or offensive speech and saying that uh, this needs to be uh, filtered out. This is what, uh, the way it is in China and uh, most people when they visit there from here, they don't like the idea that the internet there is censored the way it is. It's not nearly as much fun to go around and do a search, and then when you do the search, you, you think, well, what didn't I get? We don't want to ask that question about what Google did not deliver us in our search. We want to be able to search for something and then have the search reveal every possible alternative for us to explore. 42, the freedom of the many should not be sacrificed for the freedom of the few. And it's the other way around. The freedom of the few shouldn't be sacrificed either. But oftentimes, there's a handful of people get in power. And when they get in power, they think that certain pockets of people shouldn't have their freedom. And then oftentimes they think, well, the, even the majority shouldn't have their freedom because we know better than the majority. And uh, many of our legislators are getting this idea that they know better than us what is free. So we don't want our legislators going in there and telling us that we are not capable of handling freedom. It's interesting during uh, the Civil War that uh, the South fought the Civil War in the name of freedom itself. They had the idea that they had to have slaves in order to have freedom. That the slaves, doing all their many work for them, give them a lot more freedom. So they had a lot more free time so they could improve society, so to speak. And so they, uh, they said they were fighting 
to maintain slavery so they could have freedom. And Abraham Lincoln said this was a very strange uh, way of looking at what was free and what wasn't free. Forty-three. We reject any form of totalitarianism and anything that leads in that direction. We've been hearing a lot more lately about, well, we need, uh, we need our leaders to just tell us the way it is and uh, to just make a decision and then just declare it and go for it. Oh, yeah? Well, you know, that's the way Stalin, Hitler, uh, Nero, many, Pol Pot, a lot of the dictators in the past, yeah, that's what they did. They just declared that uh, what was to be, and then they uh, enforced it. And you hear a lot of people today, too many people, and especially too many people in our governments, saying, well, uh, you know, our leaders just need to, uh, to dictate. Matter of fact, I heard uh, a while back, I can't remember who said it, but uh, s someone in Congress was saying that, uh, you know, dictators was talking about the benefits of uh, dictatorship. I thought, wow, you know, that's really... Uh, really going over the edge. There's a lot of people that talk in the direction of a dictatorship, but they don't actually use that word because that's a no-no word to use. But I heard someone using it the other, the other day. Well, it was kind of uh, unnerving to know that, uh, that the, <laughs> the use of that word was actually getting out there in the open. But the majority of the people do not want any form of totalitarianism or dictatorship, our forefathers shed their blood to give us freedom of thought, freedom of religion, freedom to go any direction that we want within reason where we're not infringing on someone else's rights. 44. We demand that we maintain our freedom to purchase vitamins, natural nutrients, all food, and herbs without a doctor's prescription. Now this is getting, um, uh, in Europe, they're uh, trying to pass uh, leg legislation in this direction, and now because it's becoming popular here to think that uh, Europe is kind of more advanced than we are, which is, I don't know why they think that, that we have to copy them. And because Europe is doing this a lot of our legislators think, well, we have to do this too. And it's coming from both sides of the aisle. 45, we support freedom wherever it begins to surface around the world. When we see freedom begin to manifest, like one area where it really didn't work was Tiananmen Square in China back in, I believe, the 80s, where the college students surfaced and they protested and they tried to uh, uh, incorporate different freedoms and the government put them down, but uh, they made a big impact. And so when we see something like this begin to manifest, uh, we should support it to the highest degree possible. Now the same thing could happen with Iran. There's a lot of freedom-loving people in Iran who could surface. And uh, we haven't done enough to support these people that uh, have, are trying to change their governments so that uh, more freedom can prevail. And the majority of the people are for supporting freedom wherever it begins to manifest, within reason, of course. 